Thank you, Lathan Caller. Was the government as a major shareholder aware that the bank's plans to significantly reduce presence in the community? Minister, were you privy to this information of closures before the sudden announcement on Monday? Does it support Bank of Ireland and its decision to close over 100 branches in Ireland? If the government's policy is to support Bank of Ireland and its closures um, for more, more of a rural setting than in urban branches? We have in Limerick four banks closing in, in the county. We have Skeeton, Abbeyfield and Rakeel in the west of Limerick and in the east we have Brough and there's three in the city. Aren't we so lucky that we have our credit unions and our post offices who remain in Ireland and are showing the commitment to the communities and the neighbourhoods? And did you know that all the boards of the credit unions in Ireland are volunteers? That's why they have the community spirit to hold on to look after the people in our communities in our towns and villages and rural areas because they are volunteers from the area. Um, I am conditionally appalled at the number of people that come into me stating that they got into trouble during 2016 bank crisis uh, but continue to speak with their banks and pay off their loans. Yet they go to the banks and they are treated so badly and are always reminded when they were in trouble. Why can the banks get away with this? They are forcing customers to stay with them so the customers cannot move to, because of their credit history, even though they have heavily paid back on their loans. Where is the central bank? Last week, we heard about the insurance industry and the central bank sits idly by for insurance companies and the banking sector. Who are you looking after here, Minister? Is it the people of Ireland or are you working for the banks?